lesson number seven. In this lesson, we are going to deal with uh, pivot tables in the Excel. So, let's see. In here, it is given a sales for a week of one week time period, Monday to Sunday. There are two products, buns and bread. So Monday, the product bun, the total sales unit 300, and then it's given the unit price and total sales. So Monday, buns 300 unit sold, and then bread 150 units sold, and unit price 50 and 70, and the total sales also given here. Now, by using pivot table, we can arrange this data uh, very quickly in more logical way. So how to do this? First, create a pivot table to show total sales for each day for each product. Now we need the total sales for each day. For an example, Monday, what is the total sales? One cent, the sum of bun and bread, this thing. So we want to show the total sales for a day, for this whole week. To do this, we can use pivot table. So to use pivot table, we have to go insert and then pivot table, then pivot table. Here first you have to select the range of data you need to insert into pivot table. So this is the range. If not, you can click here and you can select these things and then click here. Then it is asking, choose where you want the pivot table report to be placed, new worksheet or existing worksheet. Now I am taking to the existing worksheet location you have to give and I am giving the location here. Then click here, then click OK. Now this is the pivot table format. You can drag and drop. So it is asking create a pivot table to show total sale for each day. For each day, I want to know the total sales. So to the x axis, so the rows, I am putting the days. You can drag and drop here. Then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, the names will be displayed here. Then for the other axis, I want the total sales. Then total sales I am putting in the value cell. Now it's showing Sunday total sales 8,500. We can check whether it is correct or wrong. Yes, uh, months 5,000, bread 3,500. So it's 8,500. We can very quickly create this type of a table. Then create a pivot table to show numbers of total sales, number of total sale unit for each day. Now, the previously we got total sales. Now it's asking to create a pivot table to show total number of unit sales per day. So we can use the same thing. Go to insert. Pivot table, pivot table, then select the full chart data area and then select where you want to get the pivot table here, then click OK. Now you can just you have to drag and drop. You can put the days if you want, you can put the days in column. Now then total unit price, the total unit sales, sales unit. You okay. can put it to value, then it will calculate the total. See, 150 for Sunday. Sunday, 100 buns, 50 bread. So 150, right? So if you want to get it in the other, other way around, then you can change it, day to rows, then sum here. If you want more details, you can put here, the product now see it's showing how this grand total uh, created sunday bread 50 buns 100 then 150 so in this way pivot tables very by using pivot table very easy very easily you can 
show the data and customize the data you need. Here, if you want, you can you can add product. If you want to show each product under the day, then you can drag and drop drop product to the rows. Total sales, unit price. Product here, yes. Then sales three thousand five hundred bread, then five thousand for buns. See fifty, fifty, yes. Sunday three thousand five hundred bread, five thousand for buns, and then total. Sales eight thousand five hundred. So likewise, you can prepare uh, in different ways a table by using a pivot table. Very easily, you can do the comparisons. You can change these things, and you can see. So an example in this table, if you put product here, then can you see? Sunday, bread 50, buns 100. Earlier it was showing like this. But if you put like this, it's a little bit clearer than the previous one. Sunday, total 150. It's comprised of bread 50 and buns 100. Monday, bread 150, buns 300. So this is how we are using pivot tables. You can try pivot tables when you are getting the data like this. You can try pivot tables by putting this data into a pivot table in different manner. And you can check and you can try in different ways how to show the data in more uh, accurately and more clear way to a other party. So this is how we are using pivot table.